Hi, welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, I have discussed some questions from the question paper that is 2016 CET question paper. In that video, I have discussed around 15 questions. So in this video, I will be continuing with the same question paper and will discuss some more questions from the same question paper. So read out the first question that is 16th question. Identify a microorganism that can produce biomass of protein. Again, this question, it is basically a chapter which has been removed. So, 16th, so it is a grace one. Let's not discuss this question. We'll directly go with the next one. Let's discuss the next question that is 17th one. What is the function of an enzyme recombinase during meiosis? So what is the function of this enzyme? So this enzyme recombinase, it will help in the crossing over between the non-sister chromatids. So this crossing over between the non-sister chromatid is ultimately leads to recombination so that is the main function of this recombinase enzyme during the meiosis this recombinase help in the crossing over between the non-sister chromatids so that recombination takes place or exchange of segment between the two non-sister chromatids takes place that is the main function of this enzyme recombinase so 17 2 is the right answer Next question. Identify from the following group of animals which exhibit a stress cycle. So this question is basically from the chapter that is reproduction. So here the lion, deer, dog and cow they will show this estrus cycle so these are the group of animals where the estrus cycle estrus cycle or the heat period will be observed that is in lion deer dog and cow 18 one is the right answer then next one the codons U U U and U U C codon codes for phenyl alanine only. This feature of genetic code, the codons U U U, U U C codes for phenyl alanine only. So this one will be considered as a degeneracy or degenerate. So these U U U and you use it, they code only for the amino acid that is phenyl alanine. So, this property of genetic code is called as degenerate. 19, 3 is the right answer. So, the next question, next question, secondary succession. So, this one is from the chapter which has been eliminated from the NCRT. So, we will discuss the next one that is twenty-one. A doctor identifies symptoms of nasal congestion, headache, sore throat, hoarseness, cough in a patient. The conclusion is that the patient is infected by a pathogen. So, this is these are all the symptoms of the cold. So that is common cold. In, if we get a common cold, what will be seen? We come across a nasal congestion, headache, sore throat, hoarseness, cough. These are all the symptoms of a common cold. And this common cold is because of a virus that is rhinovirus. This rhinovirus will cause these many Symptoms in a humans. 
that is rhinovirus 21 2 is the right answer that is rhinovirus the next one 22 the puffed up appearance of dough is due to fermentation by bacteria identify the gas liberated during the process during the fermentation we come across the release or a liberation of the gas that is co2 so co2 will be released during the fermentation so 22 2 is the right answer it is a direct question then the next one next question 23rd most suitable method of introducing alien dna into a plant cell is so how we can introduce a dna that is alien dna or foreign dna we cannot directly introduce the foreign dna into the plant cell we require some thing so this method through which we directly introduce a alien dna that will be considered as that is that biolistics, microinjection, lipofection, heat shock method. So these are the methods they have given. But we need to choose which method will be used to introduce a alien DNA into a plant cell. They are asking mainly regarding the plant cell. If we, if you want to introduce an alien DNA, we use a method that is biolistic method or this biolistic method will be called as gene gun method so through this biolistics or gene gun method we can directly introduce a foreign dna or a alien dna into a plant cell so 23rd one is the right answer then 24th question 24th which one of these is not accessory gland in male reproductive system they are asking regarding the accessory glands but you need to choose not an accessory gland prostate it will be seen in a males so this is not a right answer as they are asking not you need to choose a a part which is not there in a reproductive system of males prostate gland it will be seen some anal vesicle will be there then um, copper's gland will be there in males but bartholin's gland so it is a accessory gland in case of the females so as they ask not fourth one is the right answer 24 bartholin's gland is the right answer the next question we'll do the next question find the mismatch from the following pairs Again, you need to choose the mismatch pair. The first one they have given divergent evolution, thorn of bougainvillea and tendril of cucurbita. So, this is true. Divergent evolution, it means homologous organs. Homologous. Homologous organs will show a divergent evolution. For this homologous organs, bougainvillea and tendrils of cucurbita. So it is true. Then second one, adoptive radiation that is Austro Australian marsupial. Again, this one will be a right answer. Adoptive radiation will be seen in Australian marsupials. This is true. The natural selection, industrial mel melanism. It is also a correct example for natural selection. It is also true. But you need to choose mismatch pair. That is genetic drift constant gene frequency. No. In a gen gene drift or genetic drift, we cannot come across a constant gene frequency. It will be varied. So, mismatch pair will be genetic drift. That is constant gene frequency. It is a mismatch pair among the following. 25. Fourth one is the right answer then the next question what is the role of competitive inhibitor during enzyme action 
so comp competitive inhibitor as we all know that is during the enzymes reaction where enzyme will bind with substrate and it will form a enzyme substrate a complex then this will form a Uh, enzyme plus product this actually happens if when the inhibitor is present inhibitor is present this inhibitor will go and bind to this substrate as this inhibitor mimic the structure of a substrate so it will form enzyme inhibitor complex enzyme inhibitor complex then there is no production of products there is no production of products so what actually happen in this competitive inhibitor let's see they have given they have given in a first option it enhances enzyme activity no it will not increase or enhance the enzyme action it will decline so two they have given it declines the enzyme action this is true with the this is true with the question that is it declines enzyme action let's read out the other two statements it alters the active site of the enzyme and prevents the binding of substrate so it is a quite okay when it inhibits breaking of chemical bonds of a substrate no this is not true it alters the active site of a enzyme and prevents the binding of substrate no it will not alter so the two is the right answer for this question it declines the enzyme action so 26 two is the right answer then read out the next one Some of the events occur during life cycle of plasmodium are given below. Identify the correct statement. In first statement, the sporozoids reproduce sexually in liver cell. No. The gametocyte develop in RBC. Yes. This is true. Then third one, female mosquito take up sporozoids with blood meal. No, it will release sporozoids but not take sporozoids. So, this is also wrong. Fourth one, when mosquito bites a man, gametocytes are injected. No, sporozoids will be injected. So, it is also false. So, hence two is the right answer where the gametocytes develop in RBC. 27, two is the right answer. Then next question. Here they are given statement questions. Read the following statement carefully and choose the correct statement. They have given four statements. You have to choose the correct one. A. A transcription unit. Unit. The promoter located at the 5 prime end of the coding stand. So this is true. Always you will come across a promoter in a pi prime end. So this one is true. Then B, the single strand DNA having the polarity phi prime to 3 prime is the template strand. No, coding strand. So this is wrong. RNA polymerase binds to the operator during transcription. No. D. Single base DNA differences occur in humans are called as single nucleotide polymorphism SNP, SNPs. So D is true, A is true. Hence A and D is true. That is A 
ए एंड डी इज ट्रू यस ट्वेंटी एट फोर इज ट्रू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन अम्यो सेंटेसिस इज वन ऑफ द मेथड्स वॉट इज अमीन अम्नियो सेंटेसिस एंड वॉट इज द फंक्शन दिस वन अम्नियो सेंटेसिस इट विल बी डन इन ऑर्डर टू डिटेक्ट द सेक्स ऑफ द बेबी और सेक्स ऑफ द फीटर्स सो आंसर फॉर दिस वन थ्री इज द राइट आंसर हियर दैट इज फॉर फीटल सेक्स डिटर्मिनेशन ट्वेंटी नाइन थ्री इज द राइट आंसर द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कोनल्स फील्ड एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑन द रॉकी सी कोस्ट ऑफ स्कॉटलैंड वेर लार्जर बैर्नेकल बलानस डोमिनेट्स द इंटरटाइडल एरिया एंड रिमूव द स्मॉल बैर्नेकल थेमस द दिस हैपन्स ड्यू टू Why? Why they has to eliminate? Because of the competition. That is the main purpose. Why the dominant or superior one will eliminate the uh, recessive one? That is competition. Thirty B is the answer. That is competition is the right answer. The next one, thirty one. Choose the incorrect statement from the following. You have to choose the incorrect statement. First one, tendons attach muscle to bone. This is true. Then ciliated epithelium is the modified columnar epithelium. This is also true. Adipose tissue is a type of dense connective tissue. So this is not true. It is not considered as a dense connective tissue. So it is true. Then cartilage is made up of chondrocyte. This is also true. Hence. uh third one is the right answer as they asked incorrect statement so third one is the right answer the next one thirty two desired genes have been introduced into transgenic animals to obtain large scale production of Last case production of useful biological products encoded by these genes. This approach generally referred to as a forming, that is molecular forming. So through this molecular forming, we can create many transgenic animals by introducing our desired DNAs or the genes. So two is the right answer. Then thirty three. A plant is provided with the ideal condition for photosynthesis. And supplied with isotope protein CO two. When the products of the process are analyzed carefully, what would be the nature of products? What will happen? Here they are supplying a plant with a protein isotope CO two. Then they are asking, what is the nature of product? so which kind of product will get so through this photosynthesis we only get a glucose and also we get a oxygen so that is the right answer here a glucose will be obtained and also the oxygen will be obtained only glucose is labeled and oxygen is normal so 33 b is the answer because we are supplied with protein isotope co2 the carbon is containing this protein co2 here's the glucose where it will be having a c6h12o6 it will be labeled whereas oxygen it is not labeled so fourth one is the right answer for this question then next one next question Next one. Let's discuss the next one. Which among these is not a post post fertilization event? They are asking regarding post fertilization event. Here, soon after the fertilization, 
फ्रूट फॉर्मेशन सीड फॉर्मेशन एम्ब्रियोजेनेसिस कैन हैपन बट गैमेटोजेनेसिस इज अ प्री फर्टिलाइजेशन बिफोर फर्टिलाइजेशन द गैमेटोजेनेसिस अकर सो हियर आस्क नॉट सो ए इज द राइट आंसर फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन देन थर्टी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन sarcomere is the functional unit of contraction in a muscle fiber identify the portion of myofibril that contribute or constitute a sarcomere that is between two z line the portion is called as what sarcomere this will be z line z line between these two z line that it will be considered as sarcomere so here the answer will be the answer for this one will be the portion of myofibril between two successive z line a is the right answer so sarcomere it is a functional unit of muscle so this sarcomere will be lying in between the two successive z line so a is the right answer for this question the next one that is the 36th question that is six some desert beetles can survive on metabolic water without ever drinking liquid water which so some of the beetles can survive on metabolic water without ever drinking liquid water why how can this happen in these individual because here they have given four different options let's read out those co options and uh, come to the conclusion first one was produced as water in a organism they eat so this is not right here is absorbed from the air along with respiratory oxygen no then is a breakdown product of pyruvic inside a mitochondria along with the carbon dioxide this can be considered as true here because through the process we can release a water inside the mitochondria along with the release of a co2 and read out the last one in a breakdown in a breakdown product from glycolysis in the cytoplasm it can also happen these both statement considered as true here where without consuming water a molecular water can be obtained in a process that is through the process of glycolysis so here three and four are the true then uh, for 37th question a gene disorder phenylketonuria is an example for so this phenylketonuria it is a example for pleiotropy is a direct question because pleiotropy the example is phenylketonuria and also the hair color and skin color are also the example of pleiotropy where pleiotropy means the gene controls a two or more phenotypic character so this pleiotropy where example is phenylketonuria b is the right answer for this Thirty seventh question. So let's discuss some more question in our next video because we have discussed around fifteen to twenty in this video. Let's discuss some more in our next video. Thank you.